Hey everybody, Brian here. I just wanted to give you a quick tip on how to reverse score items. Uh, oftentimes, if you're using uh, a measure, especially uh, an existing measure that you get from a, a published study, um, they'll ask a bunch of questions and then they'll want you to reverse score some of those questions. Uh, so let's take a look at this example. I have Q15, which had 10 different items to it. Um, and so the first thing we need to do is figure out what is the maximum value on this scale. So we can click here in the value labels. Um, we see that on this particular example, the maximum value is a five. Um, so what we want to do is subtract everybody's response from six, the, the maximum value plus one. And that'll reverse score everything. Um, so the way I do this is I come in here, I'm going to create a new variable. Uh, I'm going to name it after the existing variable. And then I'm just going to put an R after it to note that it is the reverse version of that variable. And then I'm just going to subtract everybody's response uh, from six. Uh, right click here, display variable names to make this a little easier. So I bring that over. And so I'm going to take whatever people's response was to the original Q15 one variable and subtract it from six to and populate that in my new reverse variable. Uh, so there we go. And I can scroll over to the right here in my variable view. And we can see here it's created that new variable. Um, so let's just take a quick check. So person number, so the first two responses are a five and a four. So those should become a one and a two. And in fact, that's what they are here in our reverse scored. And so usually when you're reverse scoring, you're gonna do a bunch of items. So the other thing I like about this approach is it's super easy to just now edit this existing text and we can reverse score the second one. Um, we can reverse score uh, as many items as we need with just minimal editing. Um, and then making sure that when you uh, are actually creating your, your subscales, uh, you're including the reverse score, the R version of those variables instead of uh, the original version of those variables. So keeping track of which ones you've switched. Um, but this is much better than uh, there are some approaches in SPSS like recode into same variables, uh, which would effectively overwrite the existing data. Um, I really don't like that approach because it's easy to lose track of whether you've recoded them or not. And then you'd have to go back to the original data set to check. Um, so uh, just creating a new variable using this method is the easiest way to, it's a pretty simple way to do it. And it's uh, it prevents you from uh, losing track of whether it's been reverse scored or not, because you still retain uh, your original data, which is very important. So there it is, uh, reverse scoring made easy. So check that out and let me know if you have any questions.